Hey guys, what's up? Um, sorry about the recent lack of videos re lately. I've got my, I've had my cousin over for the past week. Jamie's gone to England, and the new channel member who was supposed to have joined by now has had his internet uh, cut somehow. But anyway, um, since my cousin's gone, so I'm free. I'll be making tutorials quite regularly now that it's holidays. So yeah, you'll expect a lot of tutorials from me. Also, one last thing. Um, I'm not Aboriginal. I'm not New Zealand. Just to clear that up. Okay, great. Now on to the tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a combination locking door. So let's have a look at that quickly. Um, as you can see, I'm in my new tutorials world. Uh, okay, so as you can see, this is my sort of house thing. And it will only open when you do a certain combination. So for instance, the combination is this, this, and these two. As you can see, it opened. And yeah, as you can see, you can just walk in. I haven't actually made a way to close the door, but yeah. Anywho, um, I'll quickly show you how to make it now. You will need the following items. Uh, you won't need a sword. You will need any solid block. Um, iron, because it's easy to see redstone on. Uh, you will need a door of some type, or it can even be a piston door, anything. Um, you will need a redstone dust. You will need redstone torches. You will need a redstone... Re you may need redstone repeaters, but I don't need... I don't think you will. Um, you will also need uh, levers, and I think that's it. Cool. So, first of all, let's start by making the house. Um, I'm only going to make it, say, a f that had eight combinations. I'm only going to make four combinations, just f uh, for simplicity's sake. So, uh, I'll just quickly make this. Uh, put the door down here. And then basically you set these out so they're two block, uh, one block, uh, two blocks apart. Uh, well, they've got one block between them. So, whoops. So you put the lever here, so it's one block from the door, and then the next lever would be over here because it's one block from the the previous lever. Next lever is here, um, and last lever is here. Great. Okay. Uh, I'll just quickly fill up this, and there we go. Great, so that's the building stage up. Now the redstone part. I'm just gonna quickly change the time so the time doesn't run out halfway through the tutorial. Okay, so the building stages of this, uh, first of all, let's go behind this and uh, let me just quickly do that. Okay, everywhere where there's the lever, dig under it just like that. And like this, like this, and like this. Now put redstone on all of these and destroy this block here and put a redstone torch on this block here just like that and repeat that for all of these great now what you need to do is quickly clear a pathway like this and make sure this is all two blocks down at least and make it go all the way to your door which is over there um okay and basically oh and clear the pathways to this pathway like that. Okay, now basically we need to line, put a line of redstone along this long pathway here. And then this redstone needs to go to the door, just like, oh, and it needs to go down a block, just like that. So just like this, and then put a redstone torch right there. As you can see, the door will be open for now, but anyway, basically everywhere where you want the person to pull down the lever, I mean, basically every, com um, Every time you, okay, for every lever that has to be down for the door to activate, you need to put redstone behind it just like this. So, for instance, say my combination is this one and the last one. Great, that should be good. Um, basically, as you can see, the door is closed. If I pull this one and the last one, it'll open. Uh, if I don't pull this one and the last one, for instance, I try this one by itself or this one and that one or this one and that one, nothing will actually happen. So yeah guys, uh, that's pretty much it. For my next tutorial on this series, I'm gonna make it so you have to do it in a certain order, because right now you can go this way and then this way, it still works. But yeah, next time I'll make it so you actually have to do it in a certain order. So stay tuned for that guys. Also, what should I do for my next tutorial? Comment in the section below. Remember to give this video the thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Cool. See ya guys. Thank you for watching. If you like our content, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you want more tutorials, then click on the Kiwi folder.
like this video, give it the thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it the thumbs up. Goodbye.